When I'm browsing Instagram, I'm advertised a lot of different male grooming products, so it has to be something really special to catch my eye. When I heard about Hawthorne, I was intrigued. It's a brand that promises through one single quiz to help match me with a whole selection of bathroom products that are tailored perfectly to my body chemistry and that they're gonna make me smell nice and I'm gonna love them and my whole life will be changed. Plus, the ad showed me some really slick looking packaging, so I have high hopes. I took the quiz and today we're diving in to see if Hawthorne Labs is really what it says it is. Will I be delighted by my brand new man routine for men? I'm already delighted because I love buying new things, so we're already off to a good start. But now we're gonna take a look further into these formulas and then we're gonna hop into the shower. Ooh, I definitely should have cleaned that out before we dive into this, but it's too late now. Hawthorne's waiting. Stay tuned for another super wet, soapy, exciting episode of Trying Instagram Products. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another installment of Trying Instagram Products. This is the playlist where I purchase those items heavily advertised in our Instagram feeds and I purchase them so that we can try them out and see if they're worth our money. Sometimes they're not, but sometimes we get really lucky. So I'm excited to give Hawthorne a try, but first make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It just lets me know that you wanna see even more content like this. And if you are really super into me right now, then you can commit to a lifetime time of happiness together by clicking the subscribe button that looks like that right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So click subscribe, join the Nick D crew. I think we should get started by looking at the advertisement that got me intrigued in the first place as we usually do on these playlists. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear. There's one. Ooh, look at that. That's the advertisement that initially hooked me because that body wash looks so beautiful, doesn't it? All black. And then and later I was given another advertisement, which I think is when I actually made my purchase, which just showed the whole collection of products. And once you click over there, it takes you right to the quiz. Now, that's an interesting part about Hawthorne is you can't really like just browse their store and see what all of their formulas. You have to take the quiz to have a bathroom shelf perfectly tailored towards your body. So I did it. I did the thing they told me to do because that was the only choice. Let's take a look. It says I can retake the quiz. Okay, what's your skin type. I said oily. How often do you shower? Two times a day. How often do you apply deodorant? Once a week. How old are you? 28. Body wash or bar soap. I use body wash. I don't really know anyone who uses bar soap. Let me know in the comments. Thumbs up if you use bar soap. It asked me what my best body wash, like ideal body wash would be. I said exfoliating because the one that I have now is exfoliating. I get body breakout sometimes, so to me that's important. Exfoliating. What kind of deodorant? do you use? All natural. How sweaty are you? I don't know, honey. Normal sweat. How do you feel about sweat? What do you care most about in your deodorant? How well do you know fragrances? It asks me what cologne I wear most every day and then you actually have to type in and find your cologne in a database. I couldn't remember any colognes that I like so I just put Armani code which is like the only cologne I know. Oh my god. Okay, so then it gets you like some even more personal questions. What kind of drink do you like? Beer, whiskey, wine, cocktail. I don't drink any any alcohol so I was like I would probably say cocktail because I love when you mix like a little juice with a little soda water but in my old days I would definitely go for vodka cranberry so cocktail do you smoke no where do you work oh my god in hell because I'm stuck with this endless quiz oh I love this question what do you do on your night out this one I actually felt I could relate to because I don't go to any club or bar but I do stay home and watch Netflix personality I said introvert I don't know what do you think maybe I'm an extrovert but I feel introverted sometimes, so it's my choice. My body wash, my choice. <laughs> so anyway, with all of that, it recommended me the following products that we're about to unbox right here now and whatever. So I don't really have like full visibility to how many different products or formulas they have for this stuff, but we're just gonna have to trust that this is right for me. Although if I don't like any of it, I can return it, they said. Okay, let's start with this guy. Ooh, your best self await. My best self came around in 2009 when Lady Gaga's Just Dance came out, okay? Don't play with me. I know myself. I love the presentation so far. We have everything wrapped in these nice matte black bags with information about the formula on the outside. Same with this one. This was separate, but I think it's the deodorant. And then I have this card here. There's the logo. 
excuse me. Your products have been tailored for you using data to match your introvert personality. We know you never smoke. Complete your bathroom and upgrade your whatever at the website. Oh, the things that I didn't purchase are the work scent and the play scent, which amongst these three items that I purchased, you also were recommended two fragrances, one for when you were working and one for when you're going out. I didn't buy those because they were the most expensive things, but that's normal because fragrances are expensive. Ooh. Next we have this little travel bag, which looks really nice. For good luck, last minute, last call, just in case, secret menu, after hours, forget me not, nothing's everything. That's one thing I can say I definitely appreciate about Hawthorne so far in all of the marketing that I've seen from them is that they don't push this crazy masculinity. I hate when a male grooming brand is like, and the ladies are gonna wanna lick your toes afterwards, man. It's like, don't assume my sexuality, don't talk about women that way. I get all sorts of issues with it, you know, it just misses the mark for me, so it's smart that Hawthorne really avoids that. They still come off with like a masculine vibe with their decoration and their copy, but it doesn't come on too strong. It's just like not making any assumptions about their consumer. Ooh, and this bag comes with all sorts of fun goodies. Let's look, okay, so we got swag. That's Hawthorne credit card holder that sticks to the back of your phone. Wow, you mean I can have one of these things on the back of my phone? Stuck there forever? <gasps> I can put my credit card on the outside of my pocket? Ooh, that's fun. Catch me riding dirty. It's a air freshener for my car. Let's smell that. Just a little hole. Ooh, oh yeah. That smells so good. If that's what their fragrances smell like, then I would buy that. That smells really good. It smells kind of like a Polo fragrance. Ooh, I'm putting that up in my car. Yes, Hawthorne. Do me right. Heck yes. We've got Hawthorne post-it notes. I can always use more of those. Ooh, what's this? We've got a tiny little black box. I think I paid like 50 bucks for the whole thing, by the way, so I'm really digging all of these extra lifestyle accessories. This box contains... Ooh, some sort of thing. What is that? Oh, a bottle opener, keychain. Look how it catches the light. Beautiful. I'll definitely use that to open my cans and bottles all summer. Cans of sparkling water, bottles of sparkling water, whatever my heart desires. Seriously though, this is not cheap stuff. This is a really cool little thing. Other brands would charge you a lot for an accessory pack like this, so it's really cool that they would just include it for free with your first purchase. Oh, heck yes, heck yes. Why am I talking like I'm a third grader who's afraid of getting in trouble. Hell yeah! Look, they even gave me a Hawthorne webcam cover that goes over your phone screen or your computer webcam so that the Russians and whoever can't spy on you. Keep yourself and others safe from digital voyeurs and hackers or the government. I've always wanted one of these. I feel that I need them because I see like people from the CIA have these and it's like they should know if that's a problem. Love all the free stuff. Thank you for including those gifts, Hawthorne. And little bags like this, I definitely need more of all the time. Boom. Love it. Back to the products. The hero products. Okay. First up we've got this deodorant. Ah. Can you see how beautiful? It is really nice like black matte soft touch plastic packaging. I love the feel of this type of packaging. It looks really expensive and very minimal. Your deodorant. Natural. Aluminum free. Sulfate free. Ooh. I look crazy up close. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have some stuff caught in my lungs. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this in the humid bathroom. Natural eucalyptus and mint oil is the fragrant and this was formulated in Riverside California that's not far I can trust something that's local beautiful your bar soap this is my bar soap it's exfoliating hydrating with oh wheat olive oil invigorating mint and eucalyptus so it seems like they all have that invigorating mint and eucalyptus fragrance it was made in Fall River Massachusetts hey I'm from the Northeast near Massachusetts let's look at this big guy wow I did not know it would be like a honkin' bar of soap. That's really big and substantial. Ooh, and it does smell surprisingly good. Oh, I thought that invigorating mint and eucalyptus was gonna be like a boring fragrance, like it's just a natural mint fragrance, but ooh, it's much more complex than that. It's got some spiciness to it. I can dig it, ah. And you can see inside there are chunks of some sort of exfoliating bits in there, so I love the feeling of bar soap, you know? I've been using body wash for so long, I think I forgot how satisfying. I just wanna bite it. Don't do it, cause it's poison. Put that right there. And finally, this is the thing that got me into Hawthorne in the first place, was seeing this body wash. Let's take a look. Ooh, yes. So shiny.
shiny and dark and inky black. I love that. It's beautiful. No wonder I had to get this. For your shower thoughts, it says on the side. The packaging has a really nice kind of attention to detail all throughout. And on the back it says, your body wash has been engineered to provide a deep cleanse, is exfoliating and hydrating. All right, Hawthorne. No flowery language for you. They're very much like, this is what the thing does and you will scrub your body with it. We don't need to know too much more. We don't have to have all these extra poetry words, you know, we're masculine men. No, but I really do like the packaging. I bought this because of the packaging originally, so I have no regrets there. Gorgeous for my shower. I took a brief break to take some pictures of these products, but I think now it's time to hop in the shower and try them out. I did just work out, so I am ready for a good body exfoliation. I am sweaty, I am smelly, I am ready to be cleansed by these personal care items. So let's try these two in shower and then throw on the deodorant right after and I'll give you my final thoughts on Hawthorne as a whole. All right, who's ready to take a shower? I know I am. I don't really know how to use both bar soap and body wash at the same time, so I'll start with the bar soap, feel that out, and then we'll move to the body wash. What do we think? Let's see if the water's warm enough yet. Is it gonna be? Yep, it's nice and warm. We're toasty, let's get inside. This is the third time I've gone in the shower on YouTube. Is it any better or worse for you? Let me know in the comments. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the soap dissolves really nicely, which is always helpful. It doesn't feel too waxy at all. Oh yeah, and right away I can start to feel those little exfoliant bits going to work. I'm gonna use that on my elbows because I don't like dead skin there. Definitely feels hydrating. As you can see, it's definitely lathering up just fine. I haven't used a bar soap in a long time. It's actually kind of refreshing. Ooh, it's a nice shower experience. I love the fragrance of this. It's masculine, but not like Axe Body Spray masculine. Masculine. It's natural yet warm and spicy. I wish I could describe fragrances better, but it's really really nice Again sort of giving me an expensive men's fragrance like Polo Ralph Lauren I love to exfoliate the back of my arms because those can get those ingrown hairs. Ooh, it feels really good on those areas Actually, I love to exfoliate and get the chest area because that can sometimes break out as well as the back Ooh, that feels pretty good now because the soap has vegetable glycerin I am sort of left with that sticky kind of tacky feeling on the skin after a rinse it off that you might be familiar with which is one of the reasons I don't typically go for a bar soap but let's see if I follow it up with a little bit of the body wash how we're left feeling afterwards because it was a really nice exfoliation let's try this one out thumbs up if you remember my boy body scrubber review that might be the reason some of you are even here now let's get a good shot of that pouring out beautiful eh, trying to get it in focus mmm let's get a shot of the product itself pretty much a clear consistency maybe a little translucent Ooh, strong mint fragrance there but in a good way not in a dentist way okay let's get in I'm gonna use my body scrubber to lather up Ooh, it definitely has a nice luxurious lather which I love oh and the fragrance is working for me too it's like a cooling invigorating peppermint I'm definitely getting that eucalyptus which is making it smell a lot less like overly minty so far I would say all of the fragrances really complement each other well and I can see why they all fit into the same lineup. They don't have the exact same kind of fragrance to them, but it's like all in the same family. It's really working out. It feels really nice on the skin. Obviously, there's no physical exfoliation happening there. All right, I've got the whole body done. I'm gonna rinse off so that we can see how we smell and feel afterward. Woo! Okay, shower time is over. Now let's finish off by applying some of our Hawthorne deodorant and then I can get into some clothes and we will give our thoughts on the whole shower experience. You might already know from one of my other videos recently that I've been all about natural deodorant and I recently went through all the trouble of finding a good natural deodorant regimen that works for my armpits. Mmm, more mint here, which is great. Let's see how this one feels. Oh, it definitely goes on really dry, which is nice. It doesn't like melt into a slimy coconut oil right on contact. Ooh, okay. It's a very thick formula. As you can see, it's sort of like gluing my armpit hairs together right now as though you know, I'm glue sticking them or something. So it's a little messy, but the fragrance is very fresh. Gotta say it's not 100% dissimilar to this Hop In Fresh version of it that I have from Ursa Major, which is a unisex brand, both kind of minty. What can I say? Just calling it like I see it. All right, let me get dressed and I'll meet you outside of 
the bathroom, even though it's been so much fun hanging out with you in here. Oops. All right, I am fresh out of the shower, all dried off and dressed and clean. And I gotta say, my skin feels really soft and it smells amazing. To be honest with you, I've been using the same clean and clear acne body wash for probably 10, 12 years, maybe longer. And I don't know why, because I don't necessarily need to have a medicated body wash anymore. And I really love the way my skin smells right now, so I'm definitely going to keep those, both the soap and the body wash here in the shower with me. Because if I ever want a more sensual smelling skin, then why wouldn't I reach for one of those? Also, the bar soap felt amazing on areas that I feel often need extra exfoliation, like the backs of my arms, my elbows, my legs, and my back as well. I'm also really liking the fragrance of the deodorant, although I'll be honest with you, I think this formula is a little koopy for me. Any of that oil that was intertwined with my armpit hairs are now melting down and definitely becoming a little slimy under there, so I probably won't be working this one into my routine, although frankly, I don't blame Hawthorne for this. As you know from my journey trying to find a natural deodorant, it's hard to find a good formula, and it's different for everybody. So, I would probably pass on this particular deodorant, although maybe I'll hit up Hawthorne and they can let me know how I can swap this for a different formula and I'll try a different one out. Worth a shot. What do you guys think of these products? Were you intrigued by Hawthorne and how their quiz promised to help me find the best new bathroom routine ever? Let me know in the comments below which of these three products you would have picked up. Do you use a bar soap or a body wash? That's interesting to me. But most importantly, if you want to see me try even more male grooming products like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It also lets me know that you want to see even more trying Instagram products. One of my favorite series that we do here on my channel. But most importantly, if you're new here, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So click subscribe to join the Nick D crew. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for getting Hawthorne body washed with me today. I will see you next time.